Hello teacher, hello students, welcome to today's lesson. Students, in our previous lesson, we learned about roles of the agricultural sector. We learned that agriculture is a source of food, raw materials and capital. In today's lesson, we will discuss the role and contribution of the agricultural sector. We will start our lesson by explaining the role of agriculture as a source of food and raw materials. No doubt, agriculture is the backbone of the Ethiopian economy. That is, agriculture plays several roles in the Ethiopian economy. Generally, there are four major important roles that agriculture plays in the Ethiopian economy. These are the source of food and raw materials, source of capital, contribution to gross domestic product, GDP, and contribution to employment. One of the main roles of agriculture is that it is the source of food and raw materials. For example, we can obtain grains, meat, and meat products from agriculture and use these products for consumption. As agriculture is the source of food and raw materials, it can contribute a lot through forward and backward linkage with industry. First, agriculture supplies food and raw materials to the industrial sector. This reduces the cost of living and cost of raw materials in the industrial-based urban sector, and this leads to higher profit. This shows a forward linkage. The supply of agricultural sector in the industry, in turn, enables the industrial sector to produce modern inputs and technologies such as fertilizers and tractors, which will input back to the agricultural sector. This is called backward linkage. In addition, agriculture is one of the most important sources of capital. From agriculture, we can obtain significant amount of capital. For instance, we get much needed foreign currency from coffee export. Did you know coffee is the primary commodity of our export? Students, let us now see the contribution of agriculture to gross domestic product or GDP. As indicated in the Growth and Transformation Plan of Ethiopia, currently the agricultural sector and its allied sectors contribute to 41.6% of gross domestic products or GDP of Ethiopia. As you can watch from the video, there are various agricultural activities going on, which have significant contribution to the overall economy. These are, among others, grain production, beekeeping, crop production, such as coffee, fisheries, and animal husbandry in most of the low land places. However, over the last four decades, the share of agricultural and its allied sectors, fisheries and forestry, to the national GDP has been declining. This could be due to an increasing share of the service sector activities such as hotels, banks, and so on to the overall economy. Now, look at the following table carefully. It shows the share of agriculture and its allied sector to GDP. As you can see on the screen, the share of agriculture had been continuously decreasing from the 1960s to the 1990s. 
This could be because of occurrence of drought, increasing price of agricultural inputs, or the share of agriculture being taken by the service sector. However, agriculture still has the biggest share in the total GDP of the nation. Students, agriculture also creates employment opportunities in the country. Let me tell you another fact. Did you know that 80% of the population of Ethiopia earn their living from agriculture? Agriculture supports the majority of the population, directly or indirectly. However, increasing population and land fragmentation are some of the challenges faced by the agricultural sector. Students, I want each one of you to find the answer to the following question based on what we have discussed so far. You will check your answer when they are shown on the screen. Are you ready? Good. Explain the forward and backward linkages of agriculture with industry.
Students, have you answered the question? Well, let me give you the correct answer so that you can compare it with your answer. In short, forward linkage is when agriculture provides inputs such as raw materials to industry. Backward linkage is when the industrial output becomes an input to the agricultural sector. Let's now do the second exercise. In a group of two or three students, list the main contributions of agriculture to the Ethiopian economy. I hope you've enjoyed the discussions with your fellow students. The main contributions of agriculture to the Ethiopian economy are that primarily agriculture 
is the source of food and raw materials. For example, agriculture supplies the country with food grains, dairy, and meat products. A productive agricultural sector also provides relatively abundant food and raw materials to the population. In addition, agriculture is the main source of capital, such as foreign exchange earnings. For example, our major export earnings come from coffee, which is an agricultural product. Agriculture also significantly contributes to the gross domestic product, or GDP. It gives about half of the total wealth of the nation. And finally, agriculture contributes to employment. More than 80% of people are involved in agricultural activities as a means of livelihood. This is because the majority of the people of Ethiopia live in rural areas in which agriculture dominates as the main source of livelihood. Students, discuss the answers again with your teacher after this lesson. In our today's lesson, we have seen the contribution of agriculture to the Ethiopian economy. In the next lesson, you will learn about the structure of the agricultural sector. Until then, it is goodbye from me. Goodbye.